Picture this for me. It's a nice Saturday morning. You and your family are just trying to figure out, you wanna go hang out by the water. So you do some Google searching, you end up packing the car, get all the floaties, show up, and it's just some lousy boat ramp. Here are the top five best lake spots on Lake Lanier for you and your family to go check out. Let's talk about a little history on Lake Lanier. In 1956, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers built the Buford Dam right off of the Chattahoochee River. The main reason for this was to help with water resources and to help with flood control. In doing so, it actually created Lake Sydney Lanier, which we now all know to be Lake Lanier. Covering 38,000 acres of water, almost 700 miles of shoreline, the lake has a maximum depth of 150 feet. So whether you're in Dawson, Forsyth, Hall, Lumpkin, or Gwinnett County, there's plenty of park spaces for you and your family. Let's get to it. Well, if you're like me <laughs> and you want some place that's quiet, Charleston Park has to probably be one of my favorite ones. As you're out here, you can go for a morning paddle, or you can just sit here on the Eno, be quiet, read a book, which I do not do. There's actually a lot of grills, picnic tables all around me as well. And one of the big things that Charleston Park is known for is mountain biking. So let's go check that out real quick. There's actually five and a half miles of cross country mountain biking. So bring your bikes, paddle boards, bring your kayaks, because there's so much here to do at Charleston Park. Here we are at Vans Tavern Park in Gainesville. Obviously, besides this amazing view that you see, this park has some rich Georgia history behind it. Let's start back in the late 1700s and early 1800s. There was this Cherokee Indian man named James Van, and James Van had a ferry. Yep, you guessed it, named Van's Ferry. And he would actually take people across the Chattahoochee in between Hall and Forsyth County. In 1805, he built a log cabin known as Vance Tavern. Then in 1825, it became the capital of Cherokee Nation. Now fast forward 100 plus years, when Lake Lanier was being built, they took the cabin apart log by log and relocated it to a historical preservation in Gordon County. So Vance Tavern Park is actually the old historical flooded site of James Vance Old Tavern. Have a beer on James, except it has to be non-alcoholic since you're not allowed to have alcohol here. Here we are in Flowery Branch, one of the two Van Pew Park, north and there's a south. The one that we're in right now is Van Pew North. This one is known for the amount of park bench pavilions, boat ramps, there's even a playground here. As you can see, it also has a pretty good view no matter where you are, it's actually on a peninsula. And I believe we are on the east side right now. Correction, we are on the west side right now. It also has a lot of parking and a pretty big boat ramp as well. Here right behind me is a house. Now that's just not any house. It's actually a house from uh, the Netflix series Ozark. Um, you can't go and see it otherwise as a realtor. I would go and show it to you, but it's not for sale. Van Pugh South, the campsite specifically. It's not really a public park per se, more than it is just come here to go camping. Now there's about 60 campsites of which 40 of them have utilities like water or electricity, and then about 20 of those are primitive campsites. This is what Van Pugh North or South all has to offer. So the fourth one on the list is Lanier Point Park here in Gainesville. It's actually just west of downtown Gainesville, known more for its fishing and the trails. It sits on a peninsula. You have to cross over this really cool covered bridge to get here. And you can walk around the peninsula, not almost just on the trail. There are some more open spots. Now, as you can see, there are some pretty good views around, but the best part about this park is baseball. So just on the way to the boat ramp, you're gonna pass by the Lanier Athletic Complex. Lanier Athletic Baseball Complex? The name of the park. The Lanier Point Athletic Complex. They have four 300-foot fields, all centralized by a two-story control center. Coolest part about these fields is the Bermuda grass that they have here. It's called Tiffway 419 Bermuda grass. Four of the 30 MLB teams use them. I'm a big baseball junkie, and as you can see, the eight foot fences that they have in the outfield. So make sure when you're hitting dingers, you're clearing those eight foot fences. Each field has Hollywood bases. Now, no, I'm not talking about the bases Brad Pitt used on Moneyball. Each year, uh, Major League has the size of their own bases, and Hollywood bases pretty much just means it's equal to Major League Baseball fields. It's a pretty nice beach. 
Now it's actually midday on a Saturday and it's not even really that busy here. Now it's important to also remember though, this side of the park is open from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. where the other side, the boat ramps, four lane boat ramps is open 24 seven. Now once you're over here, chairs in the sand, butts on the ground, your kid's crying on the lake over there. No, start up. Your kid's not crying. Your kid's probably crying because you open the cooler and there's no Capri Suns, but that's okay. You got Costco about a mile and a half down the road. Hop in there real quick, grab some burgers, charcoal, whatever you need. Don't forget those Capri Suns, it's kind of important. Come back over here, start grilling out while your family enjoys a real life beach experience only in the middle of the state of Georgia. It's not too bad.